all of the times are shown based off of my local time zone, which happens to be the West Coast of the United States. They're, and I know Alex and Joe are in the same time zone. But what happens if you've got team members that are in other time zones or if your whole team is not on the West Coast of the United States? It might be in London, let's say. The way that we can deal with that is by setting the time zone for a specific user. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my name menu up here, drill down on profile, and in profile we can go through a number of different settings. But the one I want to look at here is time zone. Let's jump back real quick just to take a mental note of this. So you'll notice all of these changes by Joe and Alex here were at around 7.20 to 7.50 p.m. Let's go back to the profile page. I'm going to make this change and say, no, I'm not really on the west coast of the United States. I'm in London. Now when I save it, if I go back and look at the activity monitor, it now shows that those changes were made not at 7 p 726 p.m., but they're made at 326 a.m. because they're showing it based off of my local time now being in London. If we go in and look at a, look at a card and drill down in this notifications card here, for instance, and look at the history, all of the times here are now shown off of my local time zone. So whether your entire team is in one time zone or have a team distributed out over multiple time zones or many time zones, we can show the correct time to every user using the system based off of their current location.